Hello Libra, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have it safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. With it safe for you to love, typically when I get this card, it kind of reminds me of the uh, Seven of Wands and the Nine of Wands in Tarot. So you could be dealing with a Sag, possibly even a Leo. It doesn't necessarily have to be the case, but it just represents that somebody in this dynamic is extremely guarded and that could very well be the both of you that could just be you or just your person but let's see what's going on here we're going to focus on you first libra and then we'll jump over to your person just keep in mind the roles can be reversed also keep in mind time is fluid so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date okay so there goes that nine of wands okay so we have the nine of wands we have the three of cups as well as the um Ten of cups so in regards to how you're currently viewing this relationship i gotta be honest i feel like these are phases that you're going through so just be patient with yourself and the process with the nine of wands coming out here this could definitely describe somebody who has like a massive fear of intimacy in other words it's not easy for you to let people in okay so with that being said there is someone here that you currently find yourself connecting with and this person that you currently find yourself connecting with it is somebody that you do want to establish something long term and something stable with however it kind of looks like right now your main focus slash priority has a lot to do with you getting yourself to that point within this relationship where you don't feel like you have to be guarded anymore and that's going to be your biggest challenge Libra within this relationship is you learning to let your guard down uh, when it comes on to this person uh, that you currently find yourself connecting with. And eventually you'll get to that point. Because like I said, these are phases that you're going through. So right now you might be extremely guarded towards this person. Right now it might be extremely hard for you to let this person in. But eventually um, you'll start to slowly but surely uh, let your guard down here when it comes on to this person. And that's why I say that you have to just be patient with yourself and be patient with the process. Okay? How does this person currently view this relationship okay so we have the uh, two of pentacles you got the ten of wands and then we also have the um seven of pentacles mm. i kind of feel like the person that you're currently connecting with knows i feel like, yeah i feel like the person that you're currently connecting with knows that you are extremely guarded here within this relationship that you find yourself in um with them and they're kind of coming into this you know relationship with you constantly feeling the need that they have to prove themselves to you like they have to prove to you that they care about you they have to prove to you that they are trustworthy they have to prove to you that they basically mean well point is is that this person is doing everything that they possibly can on their end to get you to lower your guard down I feel like the quickest way to get a person to lower their guard down is to make that person feel as comfortable as possible, okay? Because if you think about it, in the very beginning stages of every relationship, people are typically extremely guarded. And I've been saying this a lot in my readings. The quickest way to get a person to lower their guard down is to make that person feel as comfortable as possible. In other words, uh, mi casa es su casa, and it works. It really does work, and it really does help people lower their guard down um also too it's very important that you know in the very beginning stages of a relationship you don't come off judgmental or anything like that point is is that you really want to make a person feel as comfortable as possible to get them to lower their guard down so you can see what you're truly up against here because when a person is extremely guarded you don't really know like what you're dealing with you know what i mean so that's why i always recommend that people make people feel extremely comfortable as possible as quickly as possible and that does kind of require you to not come off judgmental that does kind of require you to allow this person to be themselves and things of that nature and then eventually the you know they're you know, they will eventually lower their guard down and i feel like that's something that this person needs to kind of do on their behalf to get you to lower your guard down but right now we kind of see them in this overall energy of constantly feeling the need that they have to um prove themselves to you prove to you that they're trustworthy prove to you that they care prove to you that they're all in you know what i mean nothing wrong with that and that could totally help you lower your guard down it could how does this person we'll see if it actually does but how does this person currently feel hmm 
This is another thing I feel like they need to kind of work on, in my personal opinion. I mean, because you're guarded. That's why I'm like, yeah, this is another thing that this person needs to kind of work on when it comes down to you. It's never a good idea to move at a very fast pace with somebody who is as guarded as you are. It's never a good idea. It's never a good idea, and I kind of see them doing that. You know, it's like they're in a rush, you know what I mean, to manifest and create the life that they basically want with you, but I don't feel like that's a good idea. I don't really feel like that's a good idea, especially because you're showing up as a nine of wands, which is just basically insinuating that right now you're in this overall energy of, I don't trust you. Regardless of this person gave you a reason, you know, to not trust them or not, I don't feel like they actually gave you a reason to not trust them. I just kind of feel like there's still a lot of past, you know, trauma that you haven't necessarily fully healed from, you know, things of that nature. Like I said, I feel like eventually in time you will lower your guard down when it comes down to this person but by them trying to rush things here with you i don't recommend it especially because i feel like this is you you're showing up as a knight of pentacles knight of pentacles is like the slowest moving knights out of all of the knights right so it kind of looks like you're wanting to take things extremely slowly here with this person but this one over here not so much it kind of looks like they're trying to basically rush things here uh with you libra tell me more about the knight of swords Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles, we got the Seven of Wands, and then we also have the um, Nine of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Pentacles to the King of Wands, and then we also have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it kind of looks like you guys are not on the same page when it comes down to that, you know, as far as like how quickly you guys want to take this relationship. Because, you know, it kind of looks like to me you want to take your time right when it comes on to this relationship that you currently find yourself in in other words you're trying to take things extremely slowly here with this person them on the other hand they're not really trying to do all of that right because you got to understand in their mind they're looking at this entire situation like you are what i want let's get this ball rolling here right but you on the other hand it's like you're still trying to work you're still trying to work on lowering your guard down here with this person you're still trying to learn you know, if this is somebody who's trustworthy or not. You're still trying to learn if this is somebody who's worth your time and or investment. Now, keep in mind, they're looking at you like you're worth my time, you're worth my investment, but you're still trying to figure that out. If this person's actually worth your time and or investment, don't get me wrong. Is this somebody that you would love to like run off into the sunset with? Absolutely. We got the Ten of Cups out here, but only time is going to essentially reveal to you if this is somebody that you can't actually run off into the sunset with. And it kind of looks like you need some time to really figure that out. They don't need no time. You know what I mean? They're looking at you like, all right, boom, you're what I want. Let's get this ball rolling here like right now. You know what I mean? I just kind of feel like you need a little bit more time to not only lower your guard down, but also to develop trust here between you and this person and to also figure out if this is honestly somebody that you can honestly establish a successful relationship with or not. But they're already sold on you. That's one thing I will say. How does... Who am I doing? Libra. Jesus. Uh, how does Libra currently feel? Okay. So we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Empress. And then we also have the Eight of Cups. Well, the Eight always goes to the Ten of Cups. So I'm not shocked that we have the uh, Eight of Cups out here. But um, your overall energy, man, it's, it's an overall energy of somebody who has one foot in one foot out uh when it comes down to the situation that you currently find yourself in and it makes sense as to why you kind of have one foot in one foot out when it comes down to this entire situation you're unsure of this person that you're currently connecting with there's still a lot that you need to kind of figure out there's still a lot that you need to learn not only that but you also are trying to learn how to just simply let your guard down and be open and receptive to this connection and that itself is not an easy thing for you to do but with all of that being said, yeah, you do have one foot in, one foot out when it comes on to this person. There's also an overall energy of you trying your hardest to not get too emotionally invested just yet when it comes down to this person. Don't get me wrong. I feel like, you know, you really do like this person. But as far as allowing yourself to really, really go there, um, emotionally speaking, I don't see you allowing yourself to go there just yet with this person. Not until you know for sure that this is a human for you, you know? 
What actions will this person take towards Libra or moving forward? We have the King of Cups. Okay. Ooh, Jesus. All right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna see why they have this energy here at the bottom of the deck, but e, we'll see. I, I have to look at your overall energy to see why they're getting this combo out here because it's not a nice combo to be completely honest. But anyways. We have the King of Cups. We have the Strength card. For those of you who do not know this, the person that's in the Strength card is the Empress. And you did show up as the Empress. So we have the uh, King of Cups. We have the Strength card. And then we have the World. Again, it's more of that overall energy of somebody who's 100% sure about you and what they want with you. They're ready to start a whole new chapter here with you. The only thing that is preventing things from progressing here, I would say, within this relationship that you guys share here with one another has a lot to do with the fact that there's still a lot of figuring out that needs to take place on your behalf. Okay. What actions will Libra take towards this person? Or moving forward. Oh, what is this? Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. I see. Okay. All right. We got the Eight of Wands. We got the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> and then we have the Lovers. Okay, so I feel like this is mainly referring to your relationship here with this person. Moving forward, um, I do see you starting to kind of let your guard down here when it comes down to this person. So we're seeing a lot of uh, growth happening here on your uh, behalf. We see a lot of progress happening here on your behalf. Remember, you went from the nine of wands to the seven of wands, and now you're showing up as a queen of wands. So that's a lot of uh, progress here as far as like you letting your guard down within this relationship here between you and this person, which is a really good sign. It's something that you're really working on as far as letting your guard down is concerned. So that's really nice to see. Um, However, I'm kind of curious to see what this is all about. I'm kind of curious to see what in the world this is all about because I feel like it kind of ties into this energy that's coming out here for this person. It's not a good energy, I'm gonna be honest. It is not a good energy. But anyways, as far as this relationship is concerned, there's a lot of progress that you're making here on your behalf. I see you being a little bit more open and receptive to, to this connection the more you lower your guard down here within this dynamic here that you find yourself in with this person. Now, let's get into this, because this is like, what in the world's going on here? So we got the Knight of Cups here. Knight of Cups um, can definitely represent uh, communication from the heart that you're receiving here from someone. I feel like you're receiving communication here from the heart. So it's a very heartfelt message. Let's we'll say that. I should have just said that earlier. It's a heartfelt message that you're receiving here from someone. Page of Wands represents somebody who's on the receiving end of some sort of news slash communication. You are receiving a heartfelt communication here um, from someone. Now, we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Judgment card, which could definitely imply that this is someone from your past, Libra, that you're receiving all of this communication from. For some of you, you could have been dealing with a Gemini, Scorpio, maybe even a Sag or a Pisces strongly. Pisces is coming out strongly and so is Sagittarius. But point is, is that you're receiving a heartfelt um, message slash communication, however you want to say it, uh, from someone here. Whoever this someone is, it's somebody who's very someone who's very in and out of your life or they were very in and out of your life when you were with them so in other words when you were with them you could have had like a very on and off relationship with this individual let me look a little bit more into the situation we have the king of swords we got the king of pentacles okay all right. Mm. I feel like this person's coming back around your way, Libra. I feel like they're trying to convince you of something, though. Like, I feel like this person is trying to convince you of something. They could very well be trying to convince you that you've changed and, you know, things of that nature. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this person has honestly changed or not, to be completely honest. Um, I feel like one of the reasons why this person's coming back around your way, and let's just call a spade a spade today, right? Let's just get down to the bottom of this entire situation. Um, 
one of the reasons why I feel like this person's coming back around your way is because you're an empress, okay? And I say this pretty often, right? When it comes on to, you know, this empress energy, just like an emperor energy, right? It's the same. You're basically the total package. You're all of the queens in one. In other words, it's very difficult to find someone like you especially in this day and age okay so it makes sense as to why this person's coming back around your way because this is somebody who looks at you like you're the total package just like they look at you right this person over here like you're the total package because you are an empress right you are technically speaking the total package so it makes sense as to why this person's coming back around your way i mean we can't blame them you're the total package right i feel like this person attempted to move forward and move on with their life they could have like started dating new people after this relationship came to an end here but it kind of looks like nobody compares to you according to them um so with that being said they're back and i feel like not only are they back but they're trying to convince you of something like they're trying to convince you that i don't know like they changed and whatever the case may be but i feel like somehow some way I feel like somehow, some way, this person's finding out about it. Now, it could be that you're telling them, hey, by the way, you know, such and such is back, right? That's definitely a possibility. But with the Ten of Swords to the Seven of Cups to the Five of Wands to the Four of Pentacles to the Three of Swords, this is like an overall energy of somebody feeling threatened is like the best way that I can describe. Whoo, almost fell into the flame. Um, this is somebody who basically feels uh, threatened is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. This person feels threatened. You got to understand this person already feels threatened being involved with someone like you. I mean, for crying out loud, you're showing up as a freaking empress, right? You're basically the total package. In this person's eyes, you can have any man that you want or any woman that you want, right? So they already feel threatened being with someone like you. To make matters freaking worse, right? You got this one over here that's resurfacing back up here for you. And now they feel even more threatened. You know what I mean? So, yeah, there's an energy of them feeling threatened. There's an energy of them feeling like they could possibly lose you. You know, things of that nature. You got to understand, they already feel threatened being involved with someone like you. They already kind of feel like... You know, they run the risk of, you know, losing you to ba to basically anyone. So the fact that this one over here from your past is resurfacing back up here for you, no, they're not going to take it so well, nor do I blame them. You know what I mean? Nor do I blame them. Let's see what's going to end up happening here, though, between... Wait. Yeah. Let's see what's going to end up happening here between you and this person um, from your past. So let's, let's look at that. What's the outcome here between uh, Libra? And this person from their past. Okay. So we have the Queen of Cups. We got the Seven of Pentacles. And then we also have the, um, okay, Ten of Swords. I gotta be honest. I just don't see you and this past person getting back together, uh, to be completely honest. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the person that you're currently romantically involved with, you know? That's kind of what it all boils down to. I don't see you revisiting this connection from your past, Libra. I just don't. Because in your eyes, you feel like you already have a good thing. So what's the point of getting rid of a good thing, you know, for somebody who clearly couldn't get their act together while they were with you? It makes no sense. It makes no logical sense for you to do something like that. So it does appear to me that you're going to keep things as is between you and this person, which is basically over. And it has a lot to do with the fact that, you know, you're already involved with who you want to be involved with. You're already dealing with the person that you actually want to go off and establish and build a life with. And with that being said, I just don't see you revisiting this connection uh, from your past. We'll see how they respond and react to this, though, and then we'll wrap this up. Okay. Wait a minute, Linda. Tell me more about this King of Swords. So we have the Page of Pentacles. We got the, uh, interesting. I'm going to tell you something, Libra. Okay. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When this one over here decides to resurface back up here for you, because they will, all right? Had you not been an empress, I'm pretty sure this person would have left you alone for the rest of your life. But it is what it is. You're an empress. We get why this person's coming back around your way. Anyways. When this person does decide to resurface back up here for you because they will, 
Yes, I do see you shutting them down. Yes, I do see you deciding to not revisit this connection here between you and this person. However, when you turn around and tell this person no, what's going to end up happening is, is that in their mind, they're going to automatically think that the only reason why you're saying all of that is because of the way this relationship, you know, came to an end here between you and them, because it kind of looks like it came to an end pretty badly here, right? Between you and this person. Um, so they're going to, they're going to basically think that the reason why you're telling them no is because of the way things ended here between you and them. So I kind of see them still trying to convince you that whatever caused that ending here between you and them is never going to happen again. So I see them doing that. Not only that, but in this person's mind, they think, believe, and feel like, all right, if I just stay consistent with it, if I just, if I just keep trying to like fix and repair my relationship with Libra, eventually they'll take me back. And that's kind of making me feel like they've done this to you before and it has worked as far as them constantly trying to convince you to take them back and please don't leave me and I promise this and I promise that. So it kind of looks like they're going to use that same strategy on you all over again, Libra. Okay, because I do see them doing that. In their mind, they think, all right, let me just stay consistent with it. And if I'm just consistent with it, eventually Libra will cave in and give me what I want, which is basically a reconciliation um, that they basically want with you. Okay, because it kind of looks like they use this strategy on you before and it has worked. So in their mind, they're thinking, well, what makes me think it's not going to work this time? You know, what else can you tell me? It's interesting. This person might even go as far as to request a face-to-face -face conversation with you because they feel like they can get a lot further with you having a face-to-face -face conversation with you instead of the two of you going back and forth via text. I am getting that. So this person might request a face-to-face -face conversation with you. We have the... Uh, ooh, okay. Okay. All right. Libra. Libra. I, I, I kind of feel like what's going to end up happening is, is that you're going to have to, um, how do I say this? It's one of those situations where you need to stop telling this person that you're done with them and then start showing them that you're done with them through your actions. Because your actions in this situation is going to speak louder than your words, okay? Because you can sit here and tell them, no, I'm done with you, blah, 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 blah right? Listen, for this one over here, they're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. You've told me that you've been done with me many times before, but you've always taken me back. This is the dance that we've always been dancing. Let's keep dancing this dance where you sit here and tell me you're done with me. And then I continue to just pursue you anyways. You know, like this is one of those situations where you're going to have to bust a whole new move. Okay, <laughs> You're going to have to bust a whole new move and you need to start showing this person that you're really done with them through your actions, not your words through your actions because your actions are going to speak extremely loud to this person once you do because now you're showing them through your actions that not nah, like I'm not playing with you like I'm done for real for real right um also too you need to be very careful that you don't allow this entire situation that's going on here between you and this one over here to affect what you got going on here between you and this person uh, to the right of me. This is like the true epitome of you not allowing anything to come in between what it is that you currently share here with this person. Because if you allow this person back into your life all over again, not only are you going to find yourself back in a toxic situation all over again with this individual, but you could also find yourself potentially losing a really good thing in the process of it all, right? And to prevent all of that from happening, you need to make sure that you don't allow anything or anyone to come in between what it is that you currently share here with this person. Because see, this relationship here to the right of me, it's a very healthy and stable connection here that you share with this person. See, the relationship that you got out of, it was quite the opposite of that. You know, it was extremely toxic. It was extremely unhealthy. It was extremely unstable. You know what I mean? So it makes no logical sense for you to actually revisit this connection. And you kind of know that, but you kind of have to show this person through your actions that you're done with them. And you also have to make it a priority to not allow this person or anyone at that to come in between what you share with this person okay because this one over here is not going to back down so easily you might even have to throw this in their face this being this relationship that you're currently in you might just have to throw that in their face and that might get them to stop that's a possibility or it may not you know that's that's a possibility but 
I kind of feel like you may need to go down that route as far as throwing this relationship in this person's face because there is a possibility that this person is unaware that you're already involved elsewhere. So if you were to kind of throw this in their face and say, hey, look, you know, um, that could very well cause this person to back down because they kind of come off to me as somebody who does not like to compete with anybody. They don't like to compete with anyone. So I kind of feel like if this person were to know that there was someone else in the picture, because I do believe that there is, uh, that could instantly cause this person to back off and back down because they do kind of strike me as somebody who doesn't feel that confident within themselves to sit up here and compete with absolutely anybody. So they will instantly stop. Okay. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below, and I will see you guys at your next reading. Bye.